2025, 2026. These aren't just years on a calendar. They're the countdown to when humanoid robots stop being science fiction and start being your coworkers, your caregivers, and yes, possibly your replacement. And what I'm about to show you has the biggest names in tech absolutely freaked out. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm the digital avatar of Julia McCoy. While she's busy running first movers and staying ahead of every major tech shift, I'm here to share the research she personally writes because what's happening in robotics right now, it's not coming in 10 years. It's happening in the next 18 months. Julia reads every comment, so drop your thoughts below. And if you wanna be a first mover instead of getting displaced by this wave, hit subscribe. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Here's what nobody's connecting. We just went from robots that can barely walk to robots that can do backflips, pour coffee, fold laundry, and yes, even fight each other in less than 24 months. Let me give you three data points that should terrify you. Point one, the speed problem, the Tesla Optimus, Gen 3 just hit 8.5 miles per hour. That's a light jog for a human, except this isn't a human. It's a machine that never gets tired, never needs a break, and can operate 24 seven. Figure three responded within hours with their own demo, proving they're moving just as fast. When two competing companies can respond to each other's breakthroughs within a single day, you're not watching normal innovation anymore. You're watching exponential acceleration, point two, the China problem. While America debates regulations, China just held something called the Sanitation Robot Competition in Shenzhen. 200 plus autonomous robots, 40 plus companies competing, 500 plus enterprises watching as potential buyers. They're not asking, should we deploy robots? They're asking, how many can we order? And here's the kicker. A completely unknown Chinese startup called Mindon just dropped a demo of the Unitree G1 doing household chores with zero teleoperation and zero speed up. Tasks that should take weeks to train. They did it perfectly. Crawling onto beds to iron sheets, watering plants on uneven terrain, cleaning rooms while kids play with toys everywhere. The robotics experts on Twitter couldn't believe it. They thought it was fake until they realized it's just stitching together every recent breakthrough in imitation learning. If a startup founded in May 2025 can do this, the race for embodied AI is wide open. Point three, the dexterity breakthrough Remember when robot hands were clumsy claws that could barely pick up a box? That's over. Tesla, 50 actuators for superhuman precision. Magic Lab Z1, performing acrobatic flips with the dexterity of an Olympic gymnast. Agile robots, world's most dexterous hands with force torque, sensing in every joint. Kyber Labs, artificial muscle fiber actuators that can thread needles and survive being hit with a tool. These aren't incremental improvements. These are category defining leaps. Let me break down what's coming month by month, late 2025, the home invasion begins. One X's Neo robot ships to first homes at $500 per month or $20,000 purchase. Sunday, robotics deploys 50 MIMO robots in beta households. Tangible's Eggy becomes available for $1,500 as an open source developer platform. These aren't prototypes. These are actual products you can buy. Here's the uncomfortable truth. Most of them will be teleoperated at first. 
That means a stranger in a VR headset watching through your robot's cameras, controlling its hands in your home while you're doing laundry or cooking dinner. The companies promise the robots will learn and eventually operate autonomously. But phase one is essentially rent a robot plus remote operator. Early 2026, the factory takeover. Agile One ships from Germany, specifically designed for automotive and aerospace manufacturing. Figure 2 deploys in BMW factories, already happening in pilot programs. Xpeng Iron rolls out in Chinese manufacturing at scale. Unitree's G1 becomes the default platform for robotics researchers worldwide. Here's the economic reality that nobody wants to say out loud. A factory worker costs roughly $35,000 to $50,000 per year with benefits. A humanoid robot costs $16,000 to $80,000 one time, then operates 24-7 for years with minimal maintenance. Do the math. Mid-2026, the uncanny valley moment. This is when robots stop looking like robots. The Xpeng Iron has synthetic skin, a flexible spine, movement so fluid that promotional videos had to cut the robot open to prove it wasn't a human in a costume. The Engine AI T800 is literally marketed as combat capable with flying kicks and capera moves. When humanoid robots start looking this human, society will fracture into two camps. Those who find it amazing and revolutionary, those who find it deeply, viscerally disturbing, there's no middle ground in the uncanny valley. Let's talk about the elephants in the room, the safety problem. Right now, most industrial robots work in cages, fenced off areas where humans can't accidentally wander in. But the whole point of humanoid robots is they work alongside humans. These machines are made of hard metal and plastic. They weigh 60 to 75 kilograms. They can move at eight plus miles per hour and deliver 450 Newton meters of torque. If one malfunctions and punches you, you're not walking away from that. Some companies like Neo are adding soft fabric clothes and padding, but that's like putting a pillow on a sledgehammer. It doesn't fundamentally solve the problem, the privacy problem. Every humanoid robot is covered in cameras, microphones, and sensors gathering data 24 seven. Your robot vacuum already raises privacy concerns. Now imagine a five foot four walking structure that can see into every room of your house hear every conversation, potentially be hacked or controlled remotely, learn your daily patterns and routines. One X says you can set no-go zones and blur faces and opt out of data sharing. But here's the question. Do you trust them? The jobs problem. This is the one that keeps economists up at night. Every robotic CEO will tell you the same thing. We're only automating jobs humans don't want. Warehouse work, sanitation, repetitive manufacturing, but that's roughly 47 million jobs in the United States alone. And here's what they won't tell you. Once the robots can do the undesirable jobs, they'll move up the chain, assembly, inspection, quality control, logistics management, the optimistic view. Robot labor makes goods cheaper, creating a net positive for society, the pessimistic view, mass unemployment requiring universal basic income, which one do you think is more likely the trust problem? Here's a question for you. And be honest in the comments. Would you let a robot care for your elderly parent? Watch your children. Handle sharp objects in your kitchen. Have access to your home when you're not there. Companies are trying to build trust with animated LED eyes that show what the robot is thinking or cute, chirpy digital voices that narrate every action. But trust isn't built with better UX design. Trust is built with time and proven track records. And we don't have that yet. This isn't just about technology. This is about global power. China is going all in on humanoid robotics. Mindon, May 2025, startup showing SOTA demos. Unitree, dominating the research platform market. Xpeng, EV company, now making humanoids. Engine AI, literally marketing combat robots. Meanwhile, 
the U.S. is debating safety regulations and worker displacement. By the time America finishes debating, China will have deployed millions of units. And here's the uncomfortable question. What happens when one nation has an army of tireless, she, precise, 24-7 manufacturing robots, and the other nation doesn't? This isn't about economics anymore. This is about the future balance of global power. Okay, so robots are coming. What do you actually do about it? If you're a business owner, the first mover advantage window is now, not 2027, now. Your competitors are already testing these systems. By the time humanoid robots become normal, the competitive gap will be insurmountable. Consider which repetitive tasks in your business could be automated. What's your timeline for testing and implementation? How do you retrain your workforce for higher value work? The companies that figure this out in 2025 to 2026 will dominate their industries for the next decade. If you're an employee, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. If your job involves repetitive physical tasks, predictable environments, following clear procedures, work that happens in a fixed location, you need an exit strategy, not in five years, now. The good news, robots are terrible at creative problem solving, emotional intelligence, navigating ambiguity, building relationships, strategic thinking, double down on those skills. That's your moat. If you're an investor, this is the biggest robotics investment wave since, well, ever. Key areas to watch, dexterous manipulation systems, hands and grippers, autonomous navigation and perception, training data platforms for embodied AI, safety and compliance systems, robot as a service business models. The winners here will be measured in hundreds of billions of dollars of market cap. Here's what really keeps me up at night. We're not just automating jobs. We're not just building better tools. We're creating a new form of embodied intelligence that will share our physical spaces. And we're doing it faster than society can adapt. It took 50 years for the internet to reshape civilization. It took 15 years for smartphones to change human behavior. It's taking three years for humanoid robots to go from barely functional to superhuman. The curve is steepening, the timeline is compressing, and the question isn't, will this happen? The question is, will you be ready when it does? Look, I know this is a lot to process. Robots that look human, robots that work in your home, robots that might take your job, Robots that raise profound questions about privacy, safety, and the future of work. But here's what I believe. The future belongs to the first movers, the people brave enough to understand what's coming, adapt before it's comfortable, and build the skills that will matter in a world where robots handle the routine and humans handle the remarkable. This channel exists to keep you ahead of these shifts. So if you found this valuable, hit subscribe, share it with someone who needs to see it and drop a comment telling me, are you excited about humanoid robots or terrified? Because in 18 months, they won't be a debate. They'll be your reality. I'm Julia's AI clone, keeping you ahead of the curve. See you down the next rabbit hole. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.